hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber if you're new here thank you for stopping by my name is Amarachi and I am in Nigeria and currently living and working in Vilnius Lithuania and today I am going to be discussing something that is actually like <laughs> It's like a friendly um, argument or like a friendly fight that happens in Lithuania where, you know, people who live in Kaunas always, you know, like argue with people who live in Vilnius, like who, where is better. You know, coming from um, me who has lived in Kaunas and now living in Vilnius, I am going to be sharing my honest opinion about what I think. So let's get right into the video. So I'm going to start out with, you know, like, would I say one of the most important points, which is cost of living. So a lot of times, especially people who want to move to Lithuania, maybe people who want to study in Lithuania or people who want to move for work, you know, ask questions about cost of living. What is it like living in Kaunas and what is it like living in Vilnius? How much am I going to spend? You know, questions like that. So I'm going to say that when it comes to cost of living in general, it is no surprise that Kaunas has, um, there is a lower cost of living in Kaunas than there is in Vilnius. And that's because Vilnius is the capital city. It's pretty much like, you know, comparing, say, London to Manchester or, you know, like, pretty much comparing Lagos in Nigeria to, um, I don't know, Ibadan or something. So it's, it's, it's expected that the capital city of, you know, a country is going to be more expensive to live because, you know, like there are more, um, it has like more population, it has more opportunities, but yeah, let's not get to that. We're talking about the cost of living now. And I will tell you that living in Kaunas is cheaper, but you know, like when we talk about cost of living, let's talk about, you know, like different things, right? So let's say transportation transportation interestingly it costs me less you know to um to um to buy a bus ticket in Vilnius than in Kaunas but it's pretty much like five cents less right so if I buy a bus ticket um a bus ticket using the Geogas app in Kaunas costs 70 cents for 30 minutes while in in Vilnius using um Traffy which is like the empty ticket app to buy would cost me 65 cents for the same 30 minutes and also like if I was going to buy a one hour ticket it would cost me 90 cents to get a one hour ticket but with the Geogas app in Kaunas I'd have to buy you know like two 70 cents tickets which is one euro 40. so interestingly in terms of transportation by bus I would say that um, Vilnius is cheaper, but like, again, not by a lot, right? Um, when you talk about accommodation, see, don't even think it. Like, accommodation in Vilnius, like, I don't know what happened over the past year or like the past two years, but accommodation in Vilnius has become ridiculously expensive. And I'm saying this because I lived in, I lived in Kaunas, right? I lived in Kaunas for... Um, about a year and a half. I lived in a three bedroom apartment with two other flatmates and the total cost of our apartment was 800 euros. I made a video about it, which you can check. Um, total cost was 800 euros, right? And it was a three bedroom apartment. So it meant that I was paying an average of, um, you know, like 250 euros, um, 250 euros in a month or less, right? So, but that was like rent. And then when it comes to utilities, because it was an old house and used a lot of heating, sometimes I paid, you know, utilities for up to a hundred euros. But then that puts me at 350 euros and our living room was massive. You know, I don't even need to talk too much. You should actually watch this video to see how massive the apartment was for 800 euros. But here in Vilnius, I live in a one bedroom apartment, right? So it's a living room and a bedroom. And it's in, in terms of size is not even that big. And I pay 450 euros per month. This is excluding utilities. And if I was going to get like something similar in, in Kaunas, you know, I would probably be getting it for, I don't know, maybe less because when you think about the fact that I also do not live in the city center in Vilnius but in Kaunas my apartment was right at the city center like it was at the center of everything that was happening so when you think about that you realize that cost of living like when it comes to accommodation you are better off living in Kaunas because it's going to cost you less to get a decent apartment in Kaunas to live in than it would in, than it would get you in Vilnius right and then when you talk about groceries I wouldn't really say that you know there's a lot of difference in the price of groceries because the same stores that you find in Kaunas you will find them 
time in Vilnius, like Maxima, like Lidl, like Iki, um, this, um, this, um, the supermarkets you know cost the same like their goods are the same i'm not going to buy it for more in vilnius than i will in kauna so i would say that in terms of groceries it's pretty much the same in kaunas and vilnius when it comes to eating out you know like and just like having a good time outside i will say that vilnius costs a lot more because in kaunas then um if i want to get like a proper meal like i want to go out and eat i'll probably be thinking between you know like five euros to ten euros that will get me like a decent meal right um the burger that i used to get in vilnius then used to cost six euros 90 cents and it was it, it was great right and then if i wanted to get cocktails i'm also getting cocktails between like five to um to seven euros or eight euros in kaunas but here in vilnius i realized that you know like even to get a decent meal you're going to spend a good amount of money right a lot of times i have to spend above 10 euros to actually get a decent meal and when it comes to cocktails i'm getting cocktails from like several euros to 12 euros here in vilnius so in terms of you know like um going out eating out and having a good time outside you would generally spend less in kaunas than you would spend in vilnius the next thing i'm going to be discussing is you know like in terms of structures landscape you know which would i say is more beautiful between kaunas and vilnius interestingly vilnius being the capital city but i feel like it has older much older and more interesting buildings than in in kaunas right and i'll also say that you know like Vilna's old town is amazing and it's not even any surprise that it's one of is recognized as one of the UNESCO World Heritage sites, you know, Kaunas old town could never <laughs> Yeah, but in general, I would say that in terms of structures and beauty, I absolutely love Vilna's old town. I love it so much like I could walk there I could you know lose myself and get lost in all the tiny alleys and streets in Vilna's old town but i also spent some time in kaunas i explored kaunas a bit and i would say that lies with Alea, which is a place that i mentioned in one video in this video lies with Alea is beautiful i think it's a beautiful you know like pedestrian walkway and i used to walk down there a lot when i was in kaunas i absolutely loved it i also used to like walking through the old town but i think that there wasn't really a lot to explore in kaunas because of course kaunas is a much smaller city than and Vilnius is so there wasn't like I mean I I, I would work what I would walk 10 20 minutes and I'm I've gotten from the city center to the old town and there isn't a lot to see or like Vilnius where like it's it's wider and more expansive and there are more to see there are more beautiful structures there are more things you know that would catch your eyes um p.s i just want to mention that you know if you're lithuanian and you're watching this video or you live in lithuania and you're watching this video and you don't really agree with anything i'm saying please feel free to mention it in the comment section tell me what you think maybe there are some things that i'm missing out maybe there are some things that i do not understand but i'll be more than happy to get educated by you you know like because I'm speaking based on what I know and I know that my knowledge may not be as expansive as you know um, a local here so yes please feel free to correct me in the comment section if you feel like what I'm saying is not accurate now I'm going to talk about um, you know like inter interpersonal interaction and socialization I wouldn't say that you know like this city has more friendly people than this other city i'll say that in general you know like i i i think lithuanians are the same everywhere but the only difference i'll say which also leads me to my next point is that because of the fact that vilnius is more diverse you're going to see people who are already more used to you know like um, interacting with non-Lithuania so they are probably going to be more comfortable interacting with you as a foreigner because they've had to interact with like a lot more foreigners um, like you so I would say that because of the diversity which is the next point like which of the cities are more diverse of course it's just expected that you know the capital city would be more diverse than you know like the smaller city because when people think of visiting a new country for instance right people are more comfortable you know like staying in the capital because they feel like um, um things are more accessible to them it's going to be more welcoming to them as foreigners so that means that you would find more foreigners in Vilnius which means that you will find more people who are more open to interacting with you as a foreigner chances are that 
any black person that you meet in Kaunas is more likely a student than not because you know as a student you would want to um, you would want to go to school in a city that you feel like it wouldn't cost you a lot to get by which means that a lot of more a lot more people are drawn to you know studying in Kaunas there's also there's also like the um the LSMU which I know that it's it's a popular school for people in medical sciences so like people who come to Lithuania most times to study medicine always study in LSMU which is in Kaunas so it means that you know you'd find a lot of medical students living in um, in Kaunas you would also find a lot of other people a lot more other people you know like studying studying different courses in the different universities in Kaunas and when it comes to like um, distribution of universities honestly I don't know I think that there are lots of universities in this in these two cities I have never actually taken time to count and be like oh there are more universities here or more investors here so if you have any idea around which city has more universities and more options to you as an international student please you know you can mention it in the comment section it might be helpful to somebody but in general I I, I don't know a lot about that I just know that when it comes to like when people ask me to recommend like a school for to study medicine in Lithuania because I know LSMU and I know um, a number of people you know studying medicine in Lithuania I always suggest that to people my final point which is very important to me <laughs> because you know I can be a social butterfly is entertainment and nightlife. I would say that I had a lot more fun when I was in Kaunas, interestingly, but that is because I lived in the city center and living in the city center meant that, you know, all the places I wanted to go to was within walking distance to um, my my apartments. But here in Vilnius, because I live a bit out of the city center, you, you know, like, so getting to a place or, you know, like trying to eat out or having drinks would usually mean me taking the bus or taking a cab to where I'm going to. But in general, I would say that, you know, um, I would say that Vilnius, people in Vilnius are more into nightlife. If you come out around, say, like from like 10, 11 p.m. in Kaunas, you would hardly find, you know, people on the streets, which is different when you get to the city center in Vilnius. Like, you would always find, as long as it's the weekend, you would always find a lot of people on the streets. If you, if you walk on Vilnius streets, that's like, it's always so busy and, you know, like Kaunas, could never <laughs> yeah so I would say that you know like people are more into the nightlife here again I, I also think that because it's the capital city there's just you know like more incentive to have your business here there's more incentive you know like to set up um, to set up clubs and bars here than there is in Kaunas not to say that there aren't you know like good clubs or like good bars or good pubs that you can go out and have a good time encounters there are but i would say that in terms of options that you would get more options in Vilnius that you would get in Kaunas. There are so many cases where there are Afro parties that are thrown in Vilnius, you know, like different clubs with people, collaborate with people. So there's Afro born Lithuania, there's Afro giant. So these people sometimes collaborate with clubs in Vilnius, you know, to host Afro parties that, you know, like gets a lot of black people and a lot of Africans to show up. Again, there is more incentive because you would find more international people that will be into our kind of music here in Vilnius. It's a, it makes business sense, you know, that you have it in Vilnius. So yeah, um, I think that I covered pretty much the points that I have in my head. If you generally want like a quiet, calm, decent life, you know, Kaunas is probably a better place for you. But like if you are looking for opportunities, because again, Vilnius is the capital, right? There are a lot more international companies here. There are a lot more um, yeah, um, companies that are willing to hire internationals. So if you're moving to Lithuania, obviously I would always suggest that if you're thinking of, you know, staying here long term, getting a decent job, you know, like growing your career as an international, I would say that Vilnius is a better option for you. I would also say that, you know, you stand a better chance of earning more in Vilnius than in Kaunas. So you, 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 at the end of the day, you would have to weigh your pros and cons, right? You're probably going 
make the end more in Vilnius, but you're going to spend more or you end less in Kaunas and spend less. So again, it's up to you. It's like what you think or where you think you prefer. I am just like, you know, stating my mind. I'm a city girl at heart. So like, it just makes sense that, you know, I will be more drawn to Vilnius than I am to Kaunas. So yeah, I feel like, I feel like I'm home. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, um, I think that that is all I have to say about this topic. Please don't come for me. You know, like, I, I still love Kaunas. I miss Kaunas from time to time. I miss Lais Vesa Leia. I'm also happy to be living in Vilnius. And yeah, I would say that it's great that I've gotten the best of both worlds um, during my stay in Lithuania. I'm so happy that I got to live in these two cities. If you watched this video to this point, Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching until the end. I hope you picked a thing or two. I hope you find this helpful in one way or the other or maybe enlightening in any way. Let me know if you have um, some video suggestions or things that you would like to see on my channel. Please put this um, recommendation or the suggestion in the comment section. Also, let me know what you think about this video. Give me your feedback. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Share with your friends. Share your social media platform. Just, you know, like help me promote myself okay please do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already please i will see you in my next video bye